If you are the parent of a student who attends Rudy Silva Elementary, you may notice something different when your child is picked up. One of them is supposed to be inside, one of them will be outside. There are far less students outside waiting, the traffic rolls by a little smoother, and out of nowhere, someone creeps up to your window with a scanner. No need to be afraid. Just expect a warm greeting. Hello. A quick click from a scanner. Then. Thank you. From a school employee asking for all parents to provide their barcode, which should have been given by campus administration as an identification to pick up your children. The technology barcode pickup system recently went into effect at Rudy Silva Elementary, which should benefit all involved, especially the students. Well, I think it'd be good. It'd be good? It's something, yeah, something different. Hopefully it'll make it quicker as the parents can pick them up. Prior to the transition, the school had a meeting with the parents about the plan and also passed a letter of notice to all students. Uh, office, Janice Alvarez, first grade. Janice Alvarez, first grade. The brains behind the experiment was campus technology coordinator, Paul Slazer. The 10-year Westlaco educator has worked with members of the school for years and had tried different experiments. But this one, he says, should be the one that makes things smoother. Pretty much what we did is we made barcodes for every single student associated with their teacher and their grade level. Uh, the parents will drive up with these barcodes. Uh, the scanning takes but a, less than a second once they pass me the card. I can scan, I can scan, I can scan. And they'll get everybody's name pretty fast. Students will wait in the classroom until their name is called. Once the scanner reads a student's barcode, the name will pop up in the system. On the screen will read the student's first and last name, homeroom teacher, and grade level. The record will show the exact time the student was picked up and by who. Each teacher will see the name come out in a laptop where it will be connected on a screen projector for all students to see. The pupil will then be dismissed and will walk to the pickup area. And what if a parent forgets their barcode? We'll have their name written down and we'll go ahead and make a card for them. And or. Thank you, but go ahead and have uh, Sandra write the name in. Any of them that do forget it, I do call it in to the front and the front doesn't call out still, everything's all quiet. They'll just type in the name on the computer and the computer will still send those, that information to the, the, to the teacher that they're in. While students await for their name to be called, expect them to be doing further instruction in the classroom. Homework, reading a book, or classroom chores can be done. But most importantly, students are in a much safer place. With this system, we're able to actually look back and um, see the exact time when they were picked up uh, and see exactly who was picked up. So it's easier for the front to say, you know what, when they get called instead of calling, pickup area and trying to find where that where their child's at uh, they can just look on the list and boom they can already tell them okay your child was already picked up in the old system things were a little chaotic to say the least located off mile 10 north just inside the city limits parents deal with narrow roads and congested traffic at pickup time of the 780 pupils that attend Rudy Silva Elementary about 65% of them are pickups. Cars begin to line up as early as 3 p.m. for a 3.45 dismissal. Eventually, frustration sets in. It gets to a point where parents parked in the grass to avoid waiting in a long line. But with this new plan, the district is looking at a win-win situation. You'll have students that will be safe indoors. You'll have teachers monitoring their own grade levels. And then you have parents uh, who come at 3, 3 p.m. Instead of waiting for the names to be called out at 345, they'll already be on the list on the computer as showing that they're here to pick up their kids. And once the kids uh, step out, they come out, there's a check system on the computer that shows they've been picked up. So we know that they've been safely been uh, picked up. They, it moves quickly because you have 20 kids 
coming out at a time as opposed to one name being called out one at a time. And it's supposed to move things a lot, um, uh, move the lines faster, keep the kids safe. And of course, there's the time factor. Will the children go home a few minutes earlier? I hope so. Our ultimate goal is to keep them safer and to make sure that uh, any additional time that they do have is spent constructively. When it's all said and done, parents, students, and administration should see a much steadier flow after school. It's mainly just about the accountability. So, uh, you know, just checking the kid out, making sure it's going with the right person. Uh, I could see where it's going to benefit. As far as the traffic flow, it may be a little bit tougher for parents to kind of register it, but it's just going to take time just to fit in. For KWS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.